guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maritza. If you don't know, now you know. If you guys are new, go ahead and subscribe. I am trying to reach to 1K. Okay, I'm at 486, so we need to bring those subscribers up. I'm trying to stay active, okay? I'm just trying to be on here, trying to make more videos. Guys, today we are doing a Q&A. I asked you guys like last week to uh, send me some questions so that I can answer them in this video. Without further ado, we'll get right into the video. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the first question and the first question is, you single? Yes, I'm still single, okay? I don't know how many times I've been asked that. It's always gonna be the same answer. <laughs> Can I take you on a date? Uh, who? I don't even know who this is from. Uh, it just says TD, like, TD? How am I supposed to go on a date with somebody that I don't know? Somebody whose initials are TD. Anytime you use your martial, uh, uh, <laughs> martial arts experience into use outside from the cage. Uh, I had like this minor, I guess you could say minor incident. Yes and no, I honestly never like to start any fights. I try to be a professional. Technically, to answer your question, yes. Favorite season of the year. Okay, that's a hard one because I feel like I'm bipolar and um, I really like the cold weather. Honestly, I think I'm gonna say cold weather, like the winter. But then again, I do like the summer. Like I like going out and being outside, like nature, hiking, and like going out to the lake and stuff. I think I would have to go with winter. Oh, they asked another question. Uh, favorite movie? Um. I don't know. I don't even remember like half the movies that I watch. Thriller, suspicious movies, I like action movies, I like comedy. Um, I don't have a favorite movie. <laughs> Why are you the most beautiful woman in the world? <gasps> I'm definitely not, but thanks. <laughs> Here we go. I knew I was gonna get this question and it is, when is your next fight? Okay guys, so to quickly answer your question, I don't know, I could not tell you, I don't have a fight lined up, um, but I am trying to get back into it. As many of you know, with this whole COVID thing, it, everything was kind of shut off, and now that things are getting back to normal, I just am recovering from a knee injury, so I had a knee injury, I was out for like two, almost two and a half, three months. So um, I'm just getting back into full training. Uh, knee's feeling a lot better. So stay tuned. I might have some fight news within the next one to two months. Will you invite me to a, one of your fights? Look, you guys don't have to be invited. I get this question sometimes and it's like, you guys don't have to be invited. Like everyone's invited, if that makes sense. I don't have to personally send you a DM or like, a, a, a email or like you know you guys can come like I that's what I use my social media for every time I post that I have a fight you guys are all invited Phew. Oh. what's your daily routine like if I normally wake up I you know have breakfast usually I have like three to four training sessions a day so basically like all day I'll go train come back home rest I, mean, I like to come home and take naps Sometimes I make YouTube videos, you know? Um, so it just depends really, like, I don't really have a set schedule as of now. I also do have a job, which I'm only going part-time. I'll only go for like a few hours. So yeah, that's what my daily routine is kind of like. Um, it just tends to switch up. I'm guessing he forgot to, <laughs> he forgot to put in the word find. But, um, where did you find passion for fighting start? Okay, that doesn't make sense, but I think what he's trying to ask is where did I find my passion for fighting? So when I first started, I just started training for fun. It just kind of came naturally, I guess. I just really liked the sport and it was different to me. <laughs> favorite submission. Uh, my favorite submission is either a flying armbar or just a regular armbar. Those are kind of like my go-tos. I'm trying to like switch it up a little bit now. I just was talking to my coach and was saying that I'm trying to do some crazy stuff. So we're working on uh, we're working on a few things so that way I can hit those different submissions. 
stop ignoring me and let's get married. Whoa. Wow. I'm definitely not ready to get married. <laughs> how are you such a savage? That's just how I was born. Look. No, I'm just kidding. I just, I, d I put the work in. I always try, like, my performances, I always try to, like, really go out there and put on a show. I don't want to be boring. I kind of cut this next one off, but I can read half of it. But I remember reading it. I said, what happened to your knee and how long is the recovery? Um, so I tore my meniscus, like, three months ago during training, during rolling. I guess it just depends, but mine really just took, like, about two and a half months. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Are you still signed with or signed to Combate? Um, I never officially actually signed with them. A lot of people think that I did. I'm a free agent. This question, Lizette. Are you ready for hot girl summer? Me? Am I ready? Are you ready? Girl, you better be ready. So guys, we have a group chat with all our girlfriends and our uh, group name is called the catfishes because we're the catfishes. We're gonna have a hot girl summer. The streets are calling our name. <laughs> Let's make a YouTube video. I'd be down. Maybe now that, now that COVID is slimming down, I could come up with an idea where I can have like one of you guys in my next videos. That would be cool. Next question is for my sister, Marilou. She asked, why does your sister call you Bookie? Well, she doesn't really call me that anymore. Actually, you don't even call me that anymore. I should be asking you that question, not me. I really don't know why you call me that, Bookie. How can I win your heart? Ooh, if you, first of all, if you buy me food, if you if you bring me chocolates, if you bring me roses, and, and you're respectful and, and you're loyal, oh, then boy, and if you train any type of martial arts, oh, it's over. And what motivates you? Um, honestly, I have a few things that motivate me. So definitely my family. My family definitely motivates me. They are there 100% all the time. Um. Also, just like living off of like past mistakes, my losses motivate me because you always got to come back stronger. I think I just, I just generally just motivate myself. I'm very independent. I don't like rely on anyone else to motivate me. I always got to like push myself to do better. Those are the three most important family, past losses, and myself. What are your thoughts on New York? Would you ever visit? Oh, yeah, I know it's a big city and it's busy busy. I definitely want to go. That would be awesome Why are you such a badass lol? <laughs> I'm just a goofball honestly. I'm really just a goofball sometimes. I guess I'm a badass Okay, how how long are we into this? 28 minutes. Oh my god Why are you so pretty? Oh my gosh genetics? Thanks. When do you fight in Combate Global? They changed their name to Combate Global. Like I said, hopefully soon. I know they're just coming back. They just had their first uh, comeback in April, so real soon. What's the feeling like going into a cage to fight your opponent and you guys just beat each other up? You definitely have these like butterflies in you, adrenaline, anxiousness um, in a good way. All those uh, nervous, anxious feelings go away as soon as that bell rings. As soon as you go for the first hit or you, or you get hit, it's like this adrenaline rush where like it's like, okay, let's go. You know? Where's the UFC call at? Dana White better recognize. You know, I've only had two pro fights and I'm one in one, so I know that I gotta put on our shows, good wins for Dana White to recognize. He's gonna recognize. Once I get back into fighting uh, within the next few months, I'm definitely trying to stay as active as I can because I said that before COVID did not happen because of COVID and then my knee injury. So uh, 
Definitely, once I start fighting again, I'm looking to be back and on a schedule. And hablas español? Si hablo español, of course I'm Mexican. No crees que tengo nopal aquí en la frente? Sometimes, like, my family laughs at me for how I speak Spanish. I don't know why. Maybe it's because sometimes, like, I don't say something right or I just sound like I fucking don't know how to speak Spanish. But I do, okay? I do. Si se, si sabo. <laughs> how do you see yourself in five years? God willing, I most likely will be in the UFC. There might be a better promotion by then. Who knows? A better promotion that pays better. Being a top contender, top 10 contender, either that or a champ. I also see myself being moved out of the house. I don't see myself having kids. Not yet. Don't know about marriage. I don't, I really don't know. I cannot tell you. Who knows? Maybe I might be married by then. That's wild. Yeah, no kids, maybe marriage. Uh, in the UFC, moved out of the house. Those are the top four things that I can uh, see myself doing and not doing, not having kids. We'll see, I'll be 28, holy shit. Dating someone from your gym? Am I dating someone from my gym? No. Only ends up bad or worth it? If you're asking me, like it just depends, really. It definitely can be worth it because um, that person might be the only person that understands uh, where you're coming from and what you're doing most of the time. You're training a lot. Also, could end up bad, who knows, right? There's a lot of jealous people out there and it just, doesn't end up working out. So it could go either way. Guys, I think that was the last question, honestly. That was the last question, so I hope I answered all your questions. I'm pretty excited for what's to come. Um, you guys just stay tuned. I know uh, many of you guys like want to see me fight and stuff. Trust me, like I want to get back in there. So just stay uh, tuned. If you don't follow me on my Instagram, I will have my social media links down below. And yeah. That's that, so I'm just gonna close out this video. Go ahead, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment down below. I'm going to try my best to uh, upload at least once a week, so make sure you guys give me some YouTube ideas. I don't know what you guys wanna see, maybe some training videos. Just anything you guys wanna see, just let me know, comment down below. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video, bye.